Well, Wall Street wasn't that excited about Apple's new smartwatch hitting stores today. The stock went up a modest 54 cents, closing at 127.10. The new watch did draw a crowd this morning at the Apple store in Palo Alto. People can now check out all 38 versions. I feel like I'm going to be looking down all the time. It's the only thing about it that I'm a little nervous about, but I think Apple, you know, they're, every time they get into something, they really get into it. You can place an order for the Apple Watch, but you're going to have to wait a couple weeks before it arrives. And it wasn't just Silicon Valley that was all a buzz about the Apple Watch. Yeah, CBS reporter Hannah Daniels shows us that customers all around the world were excited to try it on and test it out. Paul Robinson and his family landed in New York from Brussels on Thursday. Their first stop, the Apple Store, for a look at its new smartwatch. What does it do that, that, that the iPad doesn't do or the iPhone? Uh, so it's got some nice, nice features on it. We quite like it. It's quite intuitive as well. Other smartwatches are already on the market, but Apple's version is being called the most ambitious. The watch syncs with newer iPhones and is getting good reviews for its fitness app and ease of staying connected. Advance orders started at 1 past midnight Pacific time. Jared Edward Smith has already ordered his watch, but it won't be shipped until the end of April. He says he couldn't wait that long to try one on. I just look down my wrist and see what's, com uh, what's going on, reply without even looking at my smartphone. I think that's pretty cool. From London to Beijing, gadget geeks flooded stores just to have a look. Prices start at $349 and go as high as $17,000 for the gold version. That might make the watch a pricey accessory for many. Even if there are a few early kinks, Apple expects its newest product to be a runaway hit. One of them is battery life. It doesn't last a full day. Shipping dates have already been pushed back due to high demand. In New York, Hannah Daniels for CBS News.